And you can see it's 7.43 and the Unix timestamp is here. And you know that that's what it should be because you, you worked out the Unix timestamp by Googling Unix timestamp. And the last time I wrote down Unix time was back here. I wrote down some book tags. There's some little little tabs. Do you remember? Oh, here we go. So we'll write down the next Unix timestamp, and it is one million three hundred fifty-one thousand two hundred and seventy-seven and zero zero seven. What a coincidence! And we just missed it. Ah, oh, see, you can see. That's beautiful. You can see that today is October twenty-sixth. And 007 is just out. And we just saw 007! That's a coincidence of time and space. That's one of those things I love about coincidence. And I've been talking about that with my book in Time and Space and the Spark Spear. And, and now we've seen another one. So I'm linking my place on the Earth because I worked out my distance... I subtracted my first phone number from my second phone number, and I guess it would be 500 million. It was 5 billion, zero, zero, 007. See the seven again? Billion? That's the difference between my phone numbers. 007, and then we had, I guess, 500 million. It was 5 billion. And last week, between BIPM, BIPM, when you work out at the Unix timestamp last Saturday on the 16th of the 20th, you can see my video, the Spark Spear had a diameter of 6.3 6 kilometers and when that went into the radius of a spear its surface area was 250,000 square kilometers and that equaled the surface area for France and in France there's Paris and the French Institute of Weights and Measures is right there at that, that GPS coordinates and when I subtract it, my distance, which was um, my distance, which is 325.47 kilometers from where I am, my spark spear had a surface area that was halfway between the 515th country and the 516th country, which was El Salvador. And what country was that? So you can see how these lovely coincidences form when you start looking at time and space. <laughs> that was great, that 007 coincidence. Man, that was off the scale. I love capturing real-time evidence of coincidence. That's what we did. I've been looking for one of those for years. Wow!